state visit wasn't about China. And um, look, India has challenges uh, with China as well, um, uh, right on their doorstep, but also more broadly in the region. Um, and clearly, the challenges presented by the PRC to both our nations were on the agenda yesterday, no question about that. But this wasn't about leveraging India to be some sort of counterweight. India is a sovereign, independent state. They have their own foreign policy that they have to manage, and they live in a, in a, in a tough neighborhood. They are becoming an increasing exporter of security, which we welcome. And you can see a lot of that, uh, the, our desire to improve the defense cooperation uh, on hand yesterday in some of the deliverables, whether it's co-production of jet engines, whether it's their purchase of MQ-9 drones. Uh, there's a lot we can do in the security front together, and that's really what we're focused on. Thank you. So, John, just to follow up, you're saying that the U.S. does not view India as having any role in its overall uh, competition against China. I didn't say that. I said that we're not viewing India as a counterweight to China, and we weren't approaching the state visit as some sort of messaging opportunity to China. It was about sending a message to the American people and the Indian people about how important this bilateral relationship is, quite frankly, to people around the world. Um, uh, India has challenges uh, with China on their own, and they address those challenges largely on their own. Now, I will add that they are a member of the Indo-Pacific Quad um, and have been a terrific contributor through that multilateral forum. It's not a formal alliance. It's not, you know, it's not a, a military uh, organization, um, and but they have legitimate concerns uh, in the Indo-Pacific that they're addressing uh, through their own vehicles as, as appropriate. Is, is pushing U.S. companies to do business in India a way to move those companies away from China? It's a way to encourage mutual investment with India. Um, on Taiwan and India, what does the U.S. expect India's involvement would be at this point if China were to invade Taiwan? That's up to the Indian government, Prime Minister Modi, to determine. So you can't say anything about whether anything was discussed uh, along those lines with, with As I said earlier, the, cl clearly our, our mutual challenges with the PRC and the Indo-Pacific was a matter of, of discussion. Uh, uh, the Indians have been uh, very vocal about their concerns, too, with respect to what uh, the PRC is doing. But, uh, but I don't have anything specific, more specific to read out to you in, f in terms of the conversations uh, specifically regarding Taiwan. All I can tell you on Taiwan is our policy has not changed.